just turn the light on, it's dark in here. Good evening everybody, my name is Crystal, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button and please do subscribe. I don't have to keep saying that Barclays Bank told me to cut my bank card in half and they cancelled my card because someone tried to take money out of it, which is fraud. That's twice this year that has happened. And my bank said to me that they were going to take more action to make sure they couldn't do it a third time. It's 555, 5.55. Alexa, what's the time, please? Alexa, what's the time? The time is 5.50. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 5.56 p.m. It's 5.56 now, but when I asked Alexa what the time was, it was 5.55. 5.55. 5 to 6. Good evening. So I have not been to the co-op today. I didn't go to the co-op yesterday. I haven't been out shopping. I've been indoors. Now I'm writing it all down in my journal. And I'm trying to keep stress free and not got, get stressed out because it's not good for my health. It might be funny for other people to see me get into an agitated, upset state, but it's not good for my health to get cross. And you shouldn't want to make somebody get cross for pure amusement and entertainment. That's a bit sick and not normal. So, about quarter past two, I took Max out for a walk this afternoon. There was no post. I didn't expect there to be any post. My mum said that she'd sent me something this morning and that she'd phone me later on this afternoon. And she'd also said this morning that if she, Jennifer, passes away, like they'll all have big trouble on their hands. Right? And who is this happening to? It's not happening to my mother, Jennifer, is it? It's happening to me. I've had my bank card stopped. I'm not able to access my money because the bank is shut down in Strood. There isn't a Barclays Bank. So, I walked out of the building and um, I'm bound to look like my father. I'm Derek's daughter, aren't I? And my father's dead, so I'm bound to look like my father. Because it says that girls take after their dads, right? My dad was six foot two and he was really wide and big. He was a big man. He wasn't a tiny midget like me. Although I suppose that looks funny to some people, doesn't it? So we've still got this, this charade going on. You know, somebody is completely mad and crackers, and it certainly isn't me. So I walked out of the building with Max, right, and I'm feeling like crap, as you can imagine. Stuck in this house, like this flat, in like a prison all day, and now the food is somewhat fucking bland and boring. Right? So I've got my Pepsi Cola in my pocket and I'm walking up to the field. There's a couple of people on there. It's nice and warm and it's sunny, but I feel like shite. I'm being honest, I feel like shite. I'm not going to say I feel happy and glorious when I feel like shit. So I let Max off the lead. Um, we have a bit of a walk in the sunshine and then I make my my way home and I feel like shit but I'm not angry I'm not cross I'm not acting mental I'm not shouting because you know my my mother Jennifer has a mental health illness doesn't she so I'm not not shouting I'm not getting cross 
and I, I just want to be left alone, just, you know, leave me alone, especially when I'm inside my flat. And if I have to move to the moon, I don't think I'll be clear of people. Right? Because they just can't leave you alone. They've got to interfere. And it's not for good reasons. It's not to help. It's to cause more anguish and trouble and distress. It's not to help. They're just being rude and nasty and, and, and just carrying on. Ooh. Ooh, what is it? Ooh. We go on TikTok, you see plenty of that. It's not to be nice to me. They're not interfering to help. They're being nasty and cruel. Now, I'm an adult and I just brush shit to one side because that's what they are, shit. I'm not interested in shit. So it gets brushed off. But it does make me, yeah, it does piss me off that people can be so fucking wicked and cruel. Right? I'm in my flat, right? There's no need to yell and so and make yourself known. <sighs> anyway. So when I was coming back from walking my dog, I'm not dressing up like a tart. I'm a middle-aged woman. I have a disability. I'm not dressing up like a prostitute and walking across the field half naked and picking up trolls like Charlie. Thank you very much. I'm a middle-aged woman. I just want to walk my bloody dog. And if you don't like that, whoever you are, that's your problem. Everybody has to, like, hang up their socks at some point and stop working. Do you know what I mean? Get someone else to do your foul shit for you. So on the way back from the field, the Derek lookalike... The Royal Mail driver with the long curly hair was talking to Glenn, an old lady. And she hasn't got long hair, she's got short hair. So the Derek lookalike was talking to Glenn. Right? This is relevant because of Flirt Finder. It's all that shit um, reverberating itself when I've deleted the dating apps. I don't use them anymore. So if you are um, corresponding to someone on Flirt Finder, it isn't me because I've deleted the apps off the phone. I don't use dating apps anymore. I'm not talking to you. Not using any dating application at all, and I haven't done for two or three weeks now. Because of the abuse and the homosexuals that were on there. They were obviously homosexual, like I thought that Charlie was that came up to me on the field. Because you certainly don't bloody treat a woman like that. So I walked past the uh, Royal Mail van and I walked into my flat and I'm not in a happy mood, as you can tell. The second time my card's been cancelled and no doubt it'll get lost in the post again. Right? No, I haven't been to the shop. I haven't been to any shop. I can't order anything online because my card's been cancelled. I've been told to snip it in half was what the guy said. Snip your card in half. So I'm in my flat, yeah? I'm in my flat. Um, it's been quiet. I've, I'm getting on with my Polish. I'm getting on with my Polish. Excuse the dogs barking. You're going to get that in the evening. You're going to get that. As my son said to me on the phone, Medway is the last place he'd, he'd live in. 
It's a shithole. My son won't live down here. It's a dump. Midway is a dump. It's somewhere you pass through and go somewhere else to. None of my sons have stayed down here. They hate it. They, they hate it. It's a dump. It's a shithole. It's full of drugs. It's deprived. The only good thing about Medway is Rochester, and that is the castle and cathedral. But uh, during the night time, all the drug addicts and the drunks come out down the road, if the truth be known. Anyway, so I was carrying on with my Polish, learning Polish and finding something to watch on YouTube, and my, my WhatsApp went off, and my son was on the phone. My son from Gloucestershire spoke to me on WhatsApp. My son. And I've, I've, I've told him what's been going on down here with the neighbours. We had a long conversation, right? So I've, I've, I've updated him with what's going on. And we've both agreed the only thing to do is move out of here. Move. But it shits all the way round Midway. It's like they've brought London to Midway, the concrete jungle from London. They've brought to Midway and it's shit. You can't breathe. You can't... You, you, you just... It's horrible. I do not like it. I was lied to. They obviously wanted to get rid of this property as quickly as possible, so so they lied to me. There's noise every day. There's smog. The, the some of the people are just rude, uh, and it's you, you know what I mean. You've got the clique that stick together, like you get that everywhere. They all know each other and like each other, uh, and and then you know, like you can fuck off, like. It's built like a prison. It feels like a prison. Um, but I can't move out of here. And I'm not moving out of here until I find somewhere better. But you're not going to find anything decent in Medway. Um, Gloucestershire was a lot better than this. I, I ended up... Um, I had my, hat, my home repossessed. And I ended up living with my parents. Um, and I didn't want to stay down here. Um, I never wanted to stay down here in 1985 when me and my sister were walking down um, Grove Road in Chatham and someone threw glass milk bottles at both of us. Glass milk bottles, you know those big glass milk bottles? Well, I was walking with my sister down Grove Road, Chatham, and um, some kids threw glass milk bottles at me and my sister's feet. And when I went home and told my dad, he went, shut, he went, fucking shut up. Chatham's lovely. I won't let you say anything nasty about it. So he didn't care that some kids had thrown milk bottles at me and my sister. He, he, I, we weren't allowed to speak anything bad about it. Because he'd chosen to come down here from London. And uproot me from my secondary school and my sister from her primary school, whatever. Uproot us and bring us down to this dump. From one dump to another. Because you can't be choosy when you're poor, can you? Anyway. So I've had an, a 50 minute conversation with my son on WhatsApp and the phone hurts my face. The phone hurts my face. So I've got electric shocks running through my cheek and my head. He's making noises with his feet upstairs, clanking about. And there's dogs barking. Because they want a bit of entertainment. And I'm not going on to dating sites. I don't want to meet anybody. And I don't want a conversation with a pervert either. See you later.